are back in Paris and in this video we are spending the perfect weekend in the city of Lyon. Paris is filled with icons and there are endless amazing things to do which is why one weekend is just not enough time. But if you want the perfect Paris experience without feeling rushed and overwhelmed then this video is for you. Welcome to Paris! Bonjour from Paris. We have arrived in Paris. It is our first day. We have three full days to explore the city. But first things first, we have to go to the boulangerie because if you are not immediately going to a boulangerie and devouring the delicious French pastries when you arrive in Paris, you're doing it wrong. Bonjour. Bonjour. We got our boulangerie goodies. We got pain au chocolat, croissant, and pain au raisin. Start with my croissant. Mm. Oh my god. Oh my, this is the best croissant. Welcome to France. Where is it? It should be behind us, exactly. You ready? Ready. Uh, I'll see us. <laughs> We're about to turn the corner and I see. Oh my god. Ah, it's so, oh, it's so nice. Wow, it is huge. So this beautiful. This is the beautiful buildings with the Eiffel Tower. Wow. I don't know why the Eiffel Tower is just so iconic. I know, it's so random, right? Like, it's not even pretty. It's just incredible. I don't know what it is about it. <laughs> should I buy a beret? I think I should. <laughs> What's your name? Zakaria. 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 <laughs> I got a beret. Finally. We are hoping to get this ticket. This is what we're doing. Okay. We're going to take the stairs to the second level and then we can take the elevator and that makes it 2240. But if you take the elevator all the way up, it's 2940. So we're gonna get some exercise and we're gonna save seven euro. Yeah. Which I we can spend walk, on food later. I would like to walk all the way up or even cheaper. I'm waiting. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> oh my God, we are under the Eiffel Tower map. So we just went through a second security system. Again. No lines at all. That's it. Oh my god. We are climbing the stairs of the Eiffel Tower. Oh wow. God. Oh my god. We're both geeking out way too much and you're hopefully excited with us watching us. But maybe we're just being really boring. I don't know. 659 steps, I believe, to get all the way to the second floor. But like I said, that saves us 14 euro, which means so many pano chocolates. All right, we're gonna climb these stairs. We'll see you on the second floor. <laughs> so did you know that the Eiffel Tower was originally red? Because I didn't. Oh, oh. Last time we came, we didn't come up, but we did have a picnic in the park in front of the Eiffel Tower at sunset. So we got to see the lights. So we are at 10 o'clock. So the light show technically is <gasps> sunny. I didn't splash out for the Eiffel Tower restaurant for you, but later on today, we will be doing a pretty special experience. I love Paris. That's a certain je ne sais quoi. It's actually scary. Step out here, you'll get like a bit, oh my it's god. a bit freaky. Oh my god. Second floor. This is high. Actually, I think the climbing the stairs was my favorite part. Yeah. The the line that we just had to wait in to get to the top was so freaking long. I'm so really glad we did it because this is epic bucket list item. I think everyone who's not from Paris dreams of coming to Paris and dreams of coming up the Eiffel Tower. So yeah, I'm so glad we did it. We've made it. We have a lot of our restaurants that I've saved in Paris that I really want to go to. Jacqueline said we're gonna do a lot of French food. 
first one, Croc Monsieur. Now, I actually want to test Jacqueline. We're cooking our French shears. I want her to order as well. And we're going to see how she goes with for French. Oh, smells the cheese. So this place only does Croc Monsieur. So they should be pretty good. Bonjour. Bonjour. So I'm still very much working on my confidence when speaking French, but since taking the Lingoda language lessons, I have definitely developed a lot more and my understanding especially when Max is speaking French to his family has become so much clearer. Lingoda is an online language learning platform and the cool thing about Lingoda is they're actual live classes with a live teacher and they take this really immersive approach to language learning. So there's always a chance for you to speak and to hear other people speak as well which really helps you develop your language a lot quicker. Still trying to work on my confidence with speaking, but I think if I keep taking my classes, I will definitely be getting there. When you're inside the Lingoda platform, you can actually choose the topics that you want to learn about as well. So you can develop the language that you need a lot quicker. So if you do need uh, language skills around food and drinks because you are traveling to France, you can specifically choose those kinds of topics that are gonna help you just with your getting around and being able to ask simple questions. If you're a little bit more advanced, you can choose those more advanced topics as well. And as you know, we are always traveling. So the fact that the classes are 24 seven is perfect for us. So I can usually always find a way to fit in a few classes a week and make sure I keep my progress going. Right now, you can get up to 25% off when you sign up for your Lingoda classes. So yeah, Jackie has been learning a lot. Definitely Lingoda is helping me a lot. The live lessons are really fun. Okay. Whatever, I forgot. Merci. Whoa. Yum. Bon appétit. Oh, boy. It's good. <laughs> So now we're actually making our way to a studio patisserie because I've signed us up for a macaron cooking class, which I'm so excited for. Are you excited? Oh, yeah. So we just got our little first section tutorial. We're making three flavors. Max and I are gonna be making the passion fruit ones, but then another group is making a black currant and the other group is making dark chocolate flavored ones. First step, we have to heat this up. Honestly, I'm so nervous. Oh, this is so stressful. Perfect. I am a good cook. <laughs> Shit extraordinaire. I just learned the craziest fact ever. The color of the macaroon shell is just color. It has no flavor. The flavor is in the filling in the middle. We just made the flavoring, which was passion fruit. And then now we just chose whatever color we wanted for our shell. We went with yellow because it's passion fruit. And the chocolate, the filling was more of a chocolate color. So hopefully this will look really cute, like yellow and brown. The shells are all just the same flavor. This is precision. We have this thermometer here. Macarons are not like missing around. They're not easy. But you are going to make it easy. <laughs> well, yes. You have so much confidence in us. I love yeah. it. <laughs> it's like it's competition. I feel like I'm a master chef. Four minutes on the dot. Wow. Yeah, it looks so good. They're good? Yeah. They're good? Yeah, it's perfect. perfect. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> High stakes stuff, guys. Yes. Press. Okay, we're gonna mix Press. the meringue. We one, made two, with the three, thick batter one, and it requires a very specific technique and you can't over mix it because then it will be ruined. Alright, you ready? No, not like that. Like this and 
then this one needs to go around and then I will help you to do two and then the rest you do yourself press stop and then lift up like that <laughs> down press until the first one press stop and then lift up like that okay now for the professional teacher max for the <laughs> They're ready and now we're putting the filling in them. So stressful moment. Now we have to squish them together. <laughs> Yummy! <laughs> They're not perfect, but these are the first ones I've ever made, so I'm so proud of myself. So Studio Patisserie, definitely check them out when you come to Paris. Highly recommend the macaron cooking class because it's so colorful, it's so much fun. Some of our classmates actually did the croissant making class earlier today and... We're back where we were this morning. So the Eiffel Tower is right there guys. How cool is that? But we are back at the Rue Vesen because we are going on a river cruise. We're going to do a sunset river cruise with Bateau Mouche and I cannot tell you how excited we have been for this. Oui. Merci. Bonsoir. Bonsoir. Welcome. <laughs> wow. First impressions. It's so this is cool. So nice. Yeah. right at the tip of the boat there's no one in front of us we got all these windows to my right and because there's no one in front of us we have like a clear view it's on the left from the front of the boat wow absolutely pristine bucket list it's a bucket <laughs> just hit a reef it fell over ah we've just been served our aperitif of champagne It is sunset, so it's all golden hour on the bridges as we pass them by. It's really nice. So beautiful. It's one of the most beautiful experiences I think we've ever had. So we're about half an hour into our cruise. We've only had our starter course, so we still have our main, our cheese course, and a dessert course to come. So there is a lot to go. The starter course was delicious though, so I'm really excited for what is to come. There's just something about Paris. I don't know what it is. It's so expensive. But when you're here, there's just, it's so nice. We're just turning around and the sun is setting. We just got our main course. I've ordered the lamb shoulder. Max got the veal, because he's French. Wow. That is good. That's like melting your mouth meat. Oh my mm. god. The boat is very low, so we're so close to the water. We can't see anything what's behind us. So I feel like I'm on this tiny little bar just floating. That's true. And it's absolutely spectacular. light show soon. We've got one minute. No, it should be 45 seconds. 20 seconds? Five seconds. It's late. <laughs> Why isn't it lining up? One. Oh my god, I just proposed. Oh, 
All right, maybe we got it wrong, guys. I'm really disappointed that I have tower didn't light up, but nonetheless, this has been one of the best experiences we've had whilst traveling. I cannot emphasize enough how much you should do a sunset cruise on the sand. It is so beautiful. Seeing the buildings at this time of the day is just absolutely stunning. We will put a link below to the cruise that we've done with Bateau Mouche. Spectacular. The food has been delicious. The views are amazing. Everything has been so, so good. Someone proposed right behind it. So that's yeah. how spectacular that's it is. Spectacular. Yay! Where is it? There yeah, the, <laughs> the best way to end the day in Paris. But we still have two more days. So we'll see you tomorrow. Another beautiful day in Paris. Good morning, guys. Day two. <laughs> just come back into the city center at the Notre Dame right behind us. We have a lunch date. Our cousin, you might have seen them in our Algarve video. It's awesome. That's okay. crazy. So we're gonna meet up with them in a typical French bistro. So let's have a look. In our first course, little did we know that this restaurant <laughs> was world champion for Oeuf Mayonnaise, which is eggs and mayonnaise. Eggs and mayonnaise. It's so specific. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, we ordered the eggs and mayonnaise. <laughs> mayonnaise is on these There's eggs. Just as much, but that There's must be it's like homemade mayonnaise for sure. Mayonnaise than egg. <laughs> well, it's the best eggs and mayonnaise I've ever had. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes like eggs and mayonnaise. <laughs> Merci. Wow. Oh my god. I'm so nervous. Okay. Just... Oh my god, this is so. It's hot. It looks mm. like yeah, big. Look at it. No! <gasps> <laughs> Come with me. This way. Ciao. Bye. And now we have to decide how we're going to spend our afternoon here in Paris. Maybe a museum? We've already done the Louvre, so we want to go do one of the other of the many, many museums here in Paris. So we're going to go to the Musée d'Orsay. Musée d'Orsay? Musée d'Orsay. Musée d'Orsay. But we just wanted to go look at the pyramid on the way there. Very, very cool. Definitely like 1000% add the Louvre on your things to do when you do come to Paris. But yeah, now on to Musée d'Orsay thing about this one is actually this used to be the Paris train station. You can see the style of building is very much like a railway station but a really cool thing about this museum is that on Thursdays if you enter after 6 p.m. you actually get a reduced rate and today happens to be a Thursday also and happens to be 6 p.m. We also just learned that this is the second most popular museum in Paris after the Louvre, of course, and actually the sixth most visited art museum in the entire world, which is crazy. Museum Dose was incredible. Really cool artwork in there. Just taking a short walk to the gardens of Luxembourg. And oh my God, I feel like we're in like the garden of a royal palace or something. It's everything is so manicured and so pristine. There's this beautiful big fountain. And then there's this rows of hedges. There's all of these pots around with flowers in them. It's just, Statues that we go to see in the museum. Yeah, statues that we just literally saw in the museum, like that is amazing. And it's just that kind of like sunset vibes. Wow. This is 
the problem with Paris is there's so much to do and so much to see that no guide could ever cover everything. Wow. Well, sadly, it has come to an end. Thank you guys so much for watching. And like we said earlier, this was just one weekend in Paris. And if you want to see other things to do in Paris, we've actually been here before. We've got those vlogs, we'll link them down below. So definitely go check them out. They have a lot more information on like the Louvre, Versailles, and other big things to go see in Louvre. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you in the next country. Bye. What have you been doing for the last five minutes? Oh, I'm actually so full. No, no, no waste here. Mm. <laughs> Not when Max is around. <laughs> it should be happening in five, four, three, two, one. Ah. Oh, it's happening. Wait. Yay! Woo! <laughs> that is crazy. Oh. <laughs> it happens every night and still people are like, ah! wow. Yes, it's so beautiful. Oh my god.